Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. And it is, once again, truly glorious. 66 degrees, sunny, beautiful blue sky, slight hint of a refreshing breeze. Perfect day to go out to Pleasure House Point and look at the birdies, which is what I'm gonna do. Let's go get bagels. Bagels gotten, time to snarf. Ah, uh, serenity now. Okay, so what am I doing today? Well, eh, as you can see, I've got the cotton carrier on so that I'm kind of hands-free, although I'm not because I'm carrying a bunch of shit with me and I'll show you that in a minute. But I am going to be testing out this new YC onion carbon fiber tripod, or sorry, monopod, and I'll show you what's so special about it and why I was pretty jazzed to get it. Also, I'm using my Insta360 ONE RS. Got the uh, ND filter on it. And also, on a sad note, I have pretty much retired my DJI wireless mic. I found yet another fatal flaw in the whole setup yesterday. The little piece that slides into it so that you can clip it to whatever has a really shitty design. A, a, like a little pin, a metal pin that goes through all the plastic holes and the plastic hole, it, it, like it got bent. So it got warped out of shape. It is impossible to put that metal pin back through those holes and get it to hold. So I can't use the receiver now, at least not with the clip, which pretty much for me makes it unusable. So I went back to my Rode Wireless Go 2. I plugged those in last night, charged them up and made sure that everything was good to go. You know, I'm using these again now because there's really nothing wrong with them. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna sort of walk around here, perhaps just sit around here because I did bring my collapsible stool and I'm gonna show you what this monopod is gonna be good for. So let's talk about this. This is the YC Onion Pineta MQ, the MQA145 carbon fiber monopod. Now, it looks like your typical monopod. It's got the three feet. You can also pull them off so that you just don't have this because it's pretty heavy. And then it's got this little rubber thing at the bottom that you can screw into the bottom there and just use it that way. And there are teeth little groove teeth that go all the way around that connection point so there's no spinning and you push those down and i don't know if you can hear the click but it's literally clicking there's a little knob down here at the bottom so if you want to tighten that and not have it move around like this you can do that as well it also has a removable little quick release also with those little teethy things and it's just a simple, you know, you pull it down and it slides in place. Has a little strap, has a little rubber thing to hold on to. Um, the feet are pretty big, so you can step on it. And what I've done is I put my Ulanzi inverted ball head on here so I can manipulate that how I want to. I also put one of those Falcam F38 clamps into the top of the ball head, which is just standard Arca mount type plate whatever now that way i can take this and i can just boom slide it into place and clearly this is holding my a7r5 with my 200 to 600 lens on it so on your standard monopods and tripod feet they either have those flip locks and you have to flip each section out in order to to lengthen it or shorten it same thing with a monopod, but with this YC Onion, what you've got is this proprietary, for now anyways, this proprietary little lever. And you push the little button in and you lift the lever up. And now you can move this and lock it anywhere in between, all the way down and lock it. So now if I want, I can just leave it unlocked and I can move it however I need to. Now that I've loosened that, I can, I can pick this up and I can maneuver it however I want. And you got your, 
your feet on the feet itself. So it's holding the base in place. So that's not moving. And then I can just, or if I need to go down or I need to go up and I can also then release this ball head so that it's all twisty and turny there. But you know, I saw this on Lee the Snap Chick, which is now Lee and Raymond Photography, but I saw it on her channel. She just had spinal surgery after having severe spine issues. And I feel badly for her that she went through that because the monkey knows. And once she started to be able to get back into being able to get out of bed and not being in searing hot pain, but she was finding it very frustrating trying to go out and, you know, do the photography that she does. So she does a lot, but mostly she's, she's like a nature wildlife photographer, landscapey type stuff. So she's always got, you know, big setups like this and it's too heavy because I mean, this, this hurts your spine. My spine hurts yesterday from walking all over around yesterday with all the gear that I had. And, you know, after you've had spinal surgery, it makes it even worse. So she was sent this YC Onion monopod that has this little proprietary hook on it or, you know, lever. And now she's able to do everything with, with one hand. Literally, it's locked. It's unlocked, you know, and she's able to take her time and do things carefully and not hurt herself and... It's a game changer. It's a game changer for somebody like her who had spinal surgery and for somebody like me who has a angry spine. And I have been waiting for months to get this because I ordered it like right after I watched her video. And it said that it was available for order, but it took like almost three months for me to actually get it. It was like two or three months. You know, the tra this is what I've been complaining about with the tracking. Like it didn't even show that anything had happened other than the tracking number had been created and then all of a sudden it was like almost here and then it still took three days to get here and it was supposed to be delivered on Friday but it wasn't delivered until yesterday so I went and picked this up yesterday but because the queen and I were out doing other shit and I never came here I didn't bring it to test it but that's pretty much what I wanted to do today which is also why I brought my little stool here because now I could just sit here on the path in the shade and I can take pictures at my leisure I can I can actually track birds as they're flying and it's just made it so wonderful so now maybe instead of running around here like a chicken without a head I can actually enjoy myself and just sit here and relax all right well it's kind of nice out here that the sun has gone away um, at first I thought that was going to be a bad thing because I thought maybe it means it was going to rain but there's no rain in the forecast so I think what I'm going to do is just pack all this shit up and, and take another walk out to the main path here and see what we got over the other end. See if I can get some pictures of some birds. I am really dismayed that, that this is <laughs> down so far in the battery because I will not be able to record as much as I wanted to. But then again, what do I need to record? Because uh, this was the main thing. So I'm going to give this YC Onion Panetta MQ, MQA145 carbon fiber monopod with this special lock lever on here monkey seal of approval but let's give it two thumbs up because it's awesome all right enough blathering let's go look for some birds so i rounded the corner here and i've got two birds i got one great egret you're not gonna be able to see but he's way up there in the one of the birding trees and then right down there i've got a yellow crested night heron who's probably looking for some fishies Oh man, I tell you, that breeze feels amazing. Okay, I had to change another setting that allowed me to use manual focus, even though I'm auto-focusing, to sort of help it along, because I was trying to get that yellow crowned, uh, yellow crested night heron over on the other side that was in the, like, in the grass, and it just kept picking up all the grass. So I wanted to help it along, but it wasn't working, and I realized I still haven't set that, so now I'm good to go. And then as far as the autofocus goes, like even though that bird is not looking at me and he's walking away from me because of the bird I autofocus, there's a box around it. Okay, enough. Let's, uh, let's move on. Just left Pleasure House Point. Uh, did get some bird action there towards the end. 
when I went up to the halfway-ish point, there were a few yellow-crested night herons and a great egret. So that was fun. All in all, I got to show you this YC onion monopod, and, and that was really the intention, and to walk around and get some exercise. Close the exercise ring, so we're good to go. Now we are going to go get some bean, and then, uh, oh man, I can smell somebody cooking out. That's going to be brutal. But I've got leftovers. Today is leftover day. i got to eat a lot of uh, the leftovers and get rid of them because I don't want them to go to waste. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.